everyone, it's Jess here at the Discovery Space. I'm outside in our beautiful herb garden this afternoon on this beautiful sunny afternoon and we are going to go and have a bit of an explore through the garden and have a look and see what herbs we have. I'm going to be using this app, it's called Pictures This and it's a free app that I found on the App Store and um, you can use it at home if you want to try and identify um, what plants and herbs are in your garden. So all you need to do with the app is you take it over, take a picture of the herbs and flowers that you put in your garden, and the app will tell you what herb it is and what plant it is. So this is a type of sage, it's a pineapple sage, so the app has told me what type of sage that is, um, and it also tells you how difficult it is to look after. But for sage, you can use sage a lot in your cooking, you can make nice teas with sage, um, and you can also use it for lots of cleaning. So I'm going to go and pick some. I'm going to cut a little bit of sage. Bring it over. And we're going to have a little look. Alright. So I might pick a little bit off. Crush it up. Have a smell. Oh, that smells beautiful. Like nice, fresh and clean. Okay. Wonderful. So I've got a bit of sage there. Alright. I'm going to reset my up here. And we might go over to our, well let's go have a look at what herbs are over here. Alright, let's check and see, what is this herb? I'm very curious, I wonder what this herb is. Let's see what our app says. Oh, so this is a type of mint. Let me just take that, I might pick some up. Crush that up. Oh, yeah, definitely a type of mint. So... You can put mint in your salads, you can put mint in your drinks with some cold water, freshens it up. It's lovely. Some of these plants and herbs, you can also grow more of them in your kitchen. So you can pop them in some water, in a clear glass with some water, and eventually they'll grow some roots and they'll start growing more and more and more. So you can have a little bit of a stock up there. Alright, let's use our app. And let's pop over to this side. Let's have a look and see what this plant is here. All right. No, I think we need to take another one of that. Let's go and try again. All right, so this, oh, this my app is telling me is thyme. So that's another herb that you can use in your cooking, in your salad things. Let's cut a little bit of that off. I want to have a smell and see what that smells like. I'm going to get a little bit, pinch it off, crush it up. Oh, that smells great. I like to use that maybe in some pastas. Mmm, lovely. All right. We might head back over this way and have a look and see what we've got back over us. Okay, oh, let's use our app. Let's not forget to use our app here. Yeah. Got a tiny little bit of something here in the corner. Not very much, but I can see that this is actually some French lavender. Let's put a little bit of that off. Love the smell of lavender. Oh, that's my favorite, I think. That smells great. So lavender you can use. Lavender is very, very calming. So you could rub a little bit on your wrist here and smell it. And that helps you to relax. You can put a little bit in your pillow. You can do so much with lavender. It smells beautiful and it's good for keeping you nice and calm and it's just practicing your breathing. So that's a few of the herbs that we've got in our garden. I wonder what kind of herbs you have in your garden. And you could have a little bit of a research, have, get online and have a look and see what you can use those herbs for. And remember you can make your own herbs in pots of water on your kitchen bench. Try and grow those roots and you've got a little bit of a stock, stock up for the next little while. Alright guys, that's all for us in the herb garden this afternoon. I'll see you next time. Bye!